guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to school punishments that went too fast. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. Kneeling on frozen peas. Oh, that must hurt. Wait, can they even do that? Can teachers do this to students? Seriously, is this even legal? Is it even legal? Wait, that honestly looks like it hurts so bad. Oh, seriously, it's just kneeling on rocks then because the peas are hard. So basically, it's like kneeling on rocks. I feel so bad for the students. Okay, so it says Asian children and students may be familiar with this form of punishment. Wait, I'm Asian and I'm not familiar with this at all. What? It's actually quite common for teachers and parents to dish out this punishment. What? How come I've never ever ever heard of this before? Recently, a Chinese student posted a photo of her knees after undergoing this punishment and she was promptly expelled for it. She was expelled for posting that photo? So they were like, nope, you're expelled because you posted that photo. Holding hands in public. <laughs> this honestly reminds me of when your parents make you hug it out with your siblings. Seriously, they make you hug it out, but this one is just holding hands. <laughs> okay, so it says, these two kids from Arizona got into trouble in school and were given two options. Be suspended or hold hands for 15 minutes in the school courtyard for everyone to see. 15 minutes? That's not too bad, seriously. I guess it's better to hold hands than to be suspended. <laughs> they obviously chose the 15 minutes of fame. Oh my gosh, everyone is just watching. Everyone just stood around to watch. <laughs> Can you just imagine, after school, everyone is just like, hey, do you want to watch these two kids hold hands? Come on, come on, let's go to the courtyard. <laughs> so they're all gathered up there. Oh my gosh, they honestly look so embarrassed though. But hey, hug it out, okay? Hug it out. <laughs> A police escort. Wait, the police got involved? In school? Okay, let's read this. A five-year-old child from Mississippi was escorted by the police for wearing the wrong colour of shoes. Wait, just for wearing the wrong colour of shoes and the police was involved? What? <laughs> what? What the heck is going on? The child's parents couldn't afford their quiet black shoes, so the kid's parents took a black sharpie and coloured in a pair of red shoes. What? I mean, seriously, a police didn't have to get involved. I mean, hey, even if it was out of the school's dress code, they could just be sent to the office or something. Why did the police have to get involved? Apparently, this was a grave sin in the eyes of the school, which warranted the police escort. Whoa, it was a sin to wear red shoes. Like it's the devil's shoe or something. <laughs> I don't get it. I seriously don't get it. Can anyone understand this? If you guys can understand this, tell me in the comments down below why and what happened. The cone of shame. Wait, they put the cone on shame on people? On students? Like a dog's cone but on students? What? What is going on with these schools? Seriously, a teacher placed doggy cones on students as a form of punishment. Wait, what in the world? <laughs> I would not let that teacher put a doggy coat on me, seriously. This humiliating punishment quickly ended when the school board found out about the incident and put the teacher on unpaid suspension. <laughs> Why is the teacher like this? Why? Seriously, I feel so bad for the students. The cone of shame? Oh. <laughs> These punishments are just getting out of hand. Eating food off the floor. Wait, a teacher made a student eat food off the floor? Wait, I would just run away. Seriously, as a student, I would just run. <laughs> I would literally just run out of the school and be like, bye, I'm not eating food off the floor. <laughs> okay, so it says, several students from a New Jersey school were made to eat food from the floor of the gymnasium as punishment when one student spilled water on the floor while trying to refill the water cooler. Just because of that? Just because one student spilled water and the teacher was like, nope, lick it off the ground. <laughs> These teachers are so horrifying, seriously, what is going on in their minds? I'm honestly thinking back about my high school days and I'm just like, thank gosh I had nice teachers, seriously, thank gosh my teachers were nice. Fine and suspension for self-defense. Wait, they got fined and also suspended for defending themselves? That's honestly pretty sad though, that's honestly so sad, like seriously, what do you expect them to do? Like just stand still and get hit, like okay, hit me bro, hit me. <laughs> What the heck? That is not cool. Okay, so it says a Texas teen was suspended for three days after fighting back when another student hit him. On top of this, he was fined $350, a four-month probation, and 20 hours of community service. Whoa. Wait, so what happened to the other student? Did the other student get fined as well? Or was it only him? That is honestly so not fair if the other kid was not fined as well. Oh, what is this injustice? Where is the justice in this world? Paddling. Wait, what? Paddling? So like rowing a boat? Forced to row a boat? <laughs> okay, I don't know yet. Let's read this. When a high-performing student from Texas was caught allowing other students to copy her test answers, where she let the other students copy her? <laughs> oh my gosh, all the students must love her so much. <laughs> she was allowed to choose her suspension, either be suspended for two days or be hit with a paddle behind her thighs. Wait, what? Wait, what? I never knew teachers could hit students. 
Isn't that illegal? I thought that was illegal. What? Unfortunately, this form of punishment is still legal in 19 states, including Texas. Oh, whoa, I never knew this. You can hit your student with a paddle? I mean, why would you even want to do that? Why would you want to hit someone else's kid? Just why? I mean, don't you have kids yourself? Seriously, this is not cool. These punishments are just not cool. Solitary confinement. Wait, so they put you in a room and you just stay there alone for like how long? That's honestly so suffocating though, just being there alone? Seriously, why is there a room just for the punishment? Seriously, who approved this? Okay, it says a school in Washington apparently has a padded room where students were made to stay as punishment for behavioral issues. Oh, a haircut. Wait, are you telling me this teacher cut off a student's hair? <gasps> Ain't no teacher touching my hair, seriously. My hair is my baby. No teacher is touching my hair. <laughs> what the heck? A seven-year-old student kept playing with her braids even when told by the teacher to stop. Seriously, she's seven years old. Give her a break. <laughs> she's a kid. Seriously, give her a break. When the student wouldn't stop, the teacher cut off her hair. <gasps> she actually cut off her hair. She actually did that. The teacher was simply fined $175 and the student switched classes. I'll be horrified as a kid. The teacher literally cut off her hair? Oh my gosh, that's honestly terrifying. How could you do this to a kid? Panties down. Wait, panties down? Meaning you have to take off your underwear? What kind of perverted teacher is this? We have a pervert teacher in here. Okay, let's read this. An all-girl Japanese school will make students stand up and pull their panties down to their knees as a form of punishment for anything as petty as being late or not doing homework. Not doing homework or being late? What kind of punishment is this? Seriously, this teacher is just perverted. That's it. That's it. Done. This teacher is just a pervert. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what you thought about these punishments. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.